is this i'm going to show you how i create this very easy hairstyle if this is something that you're interested in then please keep on watching <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is olua joba if it's your first time here welcome please consider subscribing and joining the family and if you enjoy this video at any point please don't forget to click the like button leave your comments in the comment section below let me know what you think about this look so this is one hairstyle that i go to almost every time i am tender headed so i don't make my hair that often even though come to think of it of recent i'm making my hair quite often but yeah you guys get the gist i don't make my hair that much so whenever i have my hair out i usually wear wigs and when i don't want to wear wigs this is the hair that i tend to gravitate towards um yeah so i'm going to be showing you how i create this hairstyle this hairstyle is really really easy in fact the reason why is this video is this long is because i'm making a video and i want to show you how i do it normally it takes me less time to complete this look so um yeah let's jump right in guys so for this hairstyle you're going to need a couple of things you're going to need your hair to be washed um freshly washed and your hair definitely should be out um yeah so this is my natural hair in all its glory guys i love my hair funny enough i'm actually considering cutting it <laughs> but i haven't gotten around to doing that so anyway that's not why we're here so you want to get your hair out you want a big to use a big comb to comb it out either i can use this one the big side or this one whichever one um works best um yeah so what usually i use this one to comb it out first just to loosen my hair a bit because my hair is quite full just to loosen it a bit and then i'll go in with this one to finely comb it make sure your hair is properly combed guys you can also use a hairbrush um i have this really tiny hairbrush that i use as well this hairbrush i really absolutely love it so you can also use that to make sure that it is properly properly combed out and you need uh a scrunchie like a hair hair holder right so this is one i'm going to be using today um i usually prefer to use black but for, i can't you know look for a black one right now and the reason why i like using a black one is, is because it blends better with my, the color of my hair so you want to just make sure that you pack your hair really nicely it depends on how you want um the ponytail to look like or where you want the bun to be um sometimes I put my hair in the middle sometimes i take it a bit lower so like i said it basically just depends on your preference so just make sure that you that your hair is properly 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 packed yeah so you want to make sure that your hair is properly packed and once i do that i also go in i also do this to my hair you know i pull it i take another another bit i pull it i take another bit I pull it I take another bit I pull it what this ensures is that it ensures that your hair like gets really really tight you know not tight that you have headache right but tight enough for this hair to to be really slick because you need this hair to be as sleek as possible the slicker it is the finer it is right so and then I, do, I then go into uh, comb the tip of my hair right i also like to use hair gel on my hair i either use um there's this hair gel that is really common but i don't use that often because it is not um it is not black i prefer to use a black hair gel this is a random black hair gel i got on amazon so this is what it looks like it's not like totally black but it is not transparent it's not white i find that this um works on my hair better um yeah so i just go in with a bit of this i don't like putting too much gel on my hair to be honest because i find that if you put too much it has tendency of you know making your hair break well that's what it does to my hair if it's too much i just put a bit just to slick down the hair even more right can you guys see just slick it down even more right and then you do that both in front and at the back you can also use a 
hairbrush a softer hairbrush not like the one i used earlier a softer one i don't have mine here so i'm just going to use my hand so but the thing the trick is that if you have combed your hair really well and it's you know you slicked it down as the best way that you can um the likelihood the fact if you use your hand to apply the gel it will still like work really really well so the trick to this hair is making sure that your hair is finely combed like it's combed so this is what we have with this hair guys you can see like you don't really need so much for this hairstyle but you can see that my like my face is coming out so the first for the first style which is the bun style i'm going to be using this bun um this is a hair bun yeah this is like a donut it has a space in the middle so i'm going to be using this hair bun um for the first style so what you want to do is put your hand into the middle of the of the bun like so and take it into your hair can you see so this is what we have at the moment and then i usually like to go in with my comb again and just comb my hair make sure that my hair is combed now going with my tail comb this is what my tail comb looks like going with my tail comb i'm just going to softly spread out my natural hair over the bun i hope you can see what i'm showing you guys so you want to softly spread out your hair over the bun like so so this is what we have right this is what we have now with the tip of my tail comb i'm just going to softly take in my hair under the bun like so so this makes it easier for you to um tuck your hair in your natural hair in under the bone and just you know make your hair finely tucked in so you want to make sure that everywhere is closed like the bone is closed you can't like you want to make sure that the bone is not seen anywhere that your hair has properly properly covered the bone and this is what we have guys this is what we have yeah you can see that the bun has properly covered my hair and yeah that's the style it's so easy guys it's really really easy and it's very neat now all you need to do is wear your earrings and you're good to go so let me get my earrings so with that we complete the first easy hairstyle all right so now that we are done with the first hairstyle let's move on to the second one they are also pretty easy like we've already created the base for all the hairstyle we're going to be doing today so like you can do this on monday do the other one on tuesday do the other one on wednesday and you just keep having different looks but with the same base like no wahala no stress guys we don't want stress we're coming to the end of the year is enjoyment we want to be enjoying now so for this next style what you want to do is i'm going to remove my hair from under the bone I'm going to remove the bun and I'm just going to go ahead and weave my natural hair. So this is what, right? So you're going to weave it into one piece just so that it is easy for you to tuck it in for these next styles that I'm about to show you. So once you are done weaving it, twist the hair around and just tuck it in if you cannot tuck it in you can use a, another um scrunchie and hold it in place i would advise that you use a small scrunchie and black preferably so that it just blends into your hair i'm going to be using hair attachments like ponytail attachments this is the first one yeah this is this is like the afro one this is one of my favorite uh ponytails that i have and i have worn this hair guys i've worn it and worn it it has given and it's been a long time that i bought this hair this this video is not sponsored by the way um it's just a really really nice um what's it called nice hair piece right so what you want to do is the let me show you on this one the um ponytail piece comes with a comb you know like the way we we have in our wigs yeah so what you want to do is take that comb and 
tuck it in your hair right and you come with a comb both on top and beneath so you want to take one take one comb above your hair like that um twist that you did take one comb around um above it and take the other comb below it so that way it is covered like see you can't see any um any twist anymore and then what you want to do is start what i usually do is i just spray this hair a bit with water and then and i put a bit of leave-in conditioner and i just begin to try to flare it out right so that it gives me it depends on how big i want guys look at me just look at me it depends on how big i want the afro to be or how small i want the afro to be guys i'm admiring myself i mean look at this beautiful babe so it depends on how big or how small i want the afro to be so that's that determines how much i'm going to flare this out right but for the purpose of this video i feel like this works i mean i'm already all over your screen <laughs> so yeah so this is how this is what happens this is how it works and this just gives you another look this is literally my go-to hair when i don't have hair on and i don't want to wear wigs right so this is what this is giving i'm going to leave the name of the um business or the brand where i bought this i must leave it on the screen it's called bouvon i hope i'm pronouncing it well but i really love it and this hair i have bought for a very long time and i still plan i plan on buying another set just because i have used this hair guys so yeah this is what this is looking like <laughs> your baby girl is ready for business <laughs> i hope you guys are liking this look let me know in the comment section which one you think which one you love the most out of these three looks and which one you think you are most likely going to um we create all look. for the third look it's almost like this second look i mean all these looks are similar it's just different um attachments that gives you different looks so for this look i'm going to be using this ponytail so it's almost like the other one the uh, attachment that i used earlier it's just that this is ponytail it's like um i don't know if it's bone straight but it's a straight a sleek um attachment a sleek ponytail unlike the afro one and like i showed you earlier it comes with its own um combs as well and it comes with a drawstring yeah it comes with this just draw, drawstring the afro as well also comes with its own drawstring so what you want to do just like the afro is place these two combs yeah place these two combs over this um twist that you did on your hair so you want to place one above and you want to place one beneath you want to pull this drawstring so that it is tight on your hair yeah so once i do that and it's tight i usually just take the remaining piece of this drawstring i just take it around my hair just to conceal it a bit and then i take like a bit as well a bit of the hair itself and i take that round my hair round the ponytail just to you know give it just to conceal some things a bit and make it look a lot more natural and this is what we have guys this is so easy so easy see just in a space of five minutes i have transformed using three different looks guys so this is what we have with this yeah so that's the ponytail and this is how long it is yeah this is how long it is actually quite long and this is what we have <laughs> so this is my secret to looking the best but putting very very minimal effort guys like this is absolutely amazing and beautiful don't you agree <laughs> so this is the hair um like i said this video is not sponsored i just wanted to come and show you how i achieved this very quick because i some people actually asked me on instagram that how did you do it so i thought to come here and do a quick video so these are the hairstyles that i wanted to show you guys i got the drawstrings both the afro and the this ponytail i got from bovon on instagram and this one you can actually get it in any hair store 
or you can get it on amazon it's actually quite easy um to get and it's quite affordable as well so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video jesus loves you bye <laughs>